Let's automate data transfers between SFTP and Google Cloud Storage. Link to the code is in the description. And before we get started, Netis offers a no-code solution with a free 15-day trial for automating data between SFTP, Cloud Storage, and BigQuery. Now let's start with the solution that involves coding in Google Cloud. First, let's create the service account. Go to IAM and under that, Service Accounts. Click Create Service Account. We'll name it SFTP Google Cloud. We give it five different roles that are all important and crucial in handling the transfer independently. The roles are Storage Admin, BigQuery Admin if you want to further transfer the file from Cloud Storage to BigQuery, Secret Manager, Secret Accessor, Cloud Functions Invoker, and lastly, because we will deploy a second generation Cloud Function, we now also need to assign Cloud Run Invoker for the service account as well. Next, we'll go to Cloud Storage and create the Cloud Storage bucket where the files from SFTP will be transferred to. Select your region and click Create. For sensitive data, keep the selection of Enforce Public Access Prevention on this bucket. We now have our bucket. Then, let's go to Security and there we will pick Secret Manager. This is where you will securely store your SFTP private key or SFTP password to enable the Google Cloud function to authenticate and access your SFTP server and retrieve files from there. Let's enable the Secret Manager API. Now create Secret. We'll name our secret, which is the SFTP private key, as SFTP key. Paste the content of the private key to secret value. Click Create Secret. And there we have our SFTP private key securely stored. All right, now we will go to Cloud Functions. We'll start creating the function that does the actual job of transferring the data file from SFTP to Google Cloud Storage. Click Create Function. We'll give the function the name of SFTP G Cloud. Select the location. Trigger type should be HTTPS. Select Require Authentication. This is important. Set the memory allocated to at least 5 on 12 megabytes or otherwise the transfers may fail. In addition, you can set timeout to 540 seconds instead of the default 60 seconds so that your bigger files can make it to cloud storage as well. Select your service account from the drop-down menu, then click Next. Now we have pasted the main.py Python script found in the resources to the editor, selected Python 3.12 as the runtime and process request as the entry point. The .env import makes sure your environment variables are loaded. You need to create two more files including requirements.txt and .env so that you will have all three of the displayed files. These are the contents of requirements.txt and .env. For SFTP server and SFTP user, you will of course have your own inputs as well as GCP bucket name and your Google Cloud Project ID number which is found in Secret Manager in the path where your SFTP key is stored. The base directory declares where you want the files in your SFTP retrieved from, and in this case, they're located in the root of the SFTP server. And now we'll deploy the cloud function. Once the deployment has been done, we will move on to Cloud Scheduler and enable the API. Click Schedule a Job. We'll give the job the name of SFTP G Cloud Scheduler. Set the location and frequency so that it will run every day at 8.25 a.m. in our time zone. Set target type as HTTP. The URL value is found in the trigger tab of your cloud function. Copy and paste it. Auth header is set as OIDC token. Select the service account you have created. Set audience as the same as the URL and note that it doesn't accept any extra URL parameters. Continue to create the cloud scheduler job. Once the cloud scheduler job has been created, it will always run the cloud function to transfer data from SFTP to Google Cloud Storage at the time you have set it to trigger. To test the SFTP to Google Cloud transfer now, tick the selection as active and click Force Run. Then, go have a look at the Google Cloud Storage bucket you have created for the SFTP transfer and if it's successful, you now have the file there. And that's it. You have now set up an automated SFTP to Google Cloud Storage data transfer with a bit of code. If coding is not your thing, you can set up the transfer with no code whatsoever with Netis Data Transfer Platform. Just go to netis.fi and click Start for Free. You will see the registration screen, 
and you can use your Google account to register and to claim your free 15-day trial with no payment information asked. Once you have registered, you're taken to the menu. Click Create a New Transfer Task. Here you can select from multiple data sources and destinations. In this case, we'll select SFTP as the data source and Google Cloud Storage as the data destination. The only thing left to do now is to fill the information such as your SFTP host, username, when to schedule, and how often. All authentication information is encrypted and stored securely. The transferred data is secured and moved swiftly to your cloud storage. None of it will remain in Netis's server. Once the transfer task is submitted, you'll see a success message and the information about your automated recurring transfer which will take place from now on. You can also go and see your Google Cloud Storage bucket, and yes, there it is. The file has been transferred successfully for the first time. Back in the Tasks page, you will see, for example, the next scheduled runtime of your data transfer task. This is how easy it is to automate data transfers with Netis.